Hi, I'm Colleen Hutchinson. I'm here at the 18th Annual Minimally Invasive Surgery Symposium, and I'm here with Daniel Schauer. Daniel, thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, let's just start out with you introducing yourself. Okay. My name is Dan Schauer. I'm at the University of Cincinnati. I'm associate professor in the Department of Internal Medicine, and I do outcomes research focusing on obesity and bariatric surgery. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, let's start with just maybe a summary of your recent research in bariatric surgery and reduced cancer rates. Okay. So obesity is strongly associated with the risk of cancer. And we wanted to figure out if having bariatric surgery and losing weight reduced that risk. So we recruited patients from five sites of Kaiser Permanente mm -hmm. and looked at their long-term outcomes uh, as far as cancer risk. And which cancers are reduced the most? So what we found overall was that cancer was reduced by about a third. And for specific cancers, postmenopausal breast cancer, endometrial cancer, colon cancer, pancreatic cancer, and esophageal adenocarcinoma were all significantly reduced. That's amazing. Now, you have a follow-up study on the decrease in cancer risk and its association with weight loss. Can you talk a little bit about that? Yes. So after we showed that bariatric surgery was associated with a reduced risk of cancer, we wanted to figure out, is it the surgery itself or is it the weight loss that occurs after surgery? Mm -hmm. And we found that as far as we could tell, it was all due to the weight loss. So those who lost the more weight reduced their risk of cancer the most. Not necessarily surgery, that's interesting. What are the implications for severely obese patients? I, I think the implications are that severely obese patients are at a significant risk of cancer. And losing weight, either through bariatric surgery or through other means, is key to reduce that risk. Well, thank you for sharing your insights and for being here today. Thank you.